Joni is here with us along with some Hickman Farm eggs. Yes. We're talking about some Easter dishes. Absolutely. Maybe after Easter dishes when you have all of those colored eggs and you don't know what to do with them. You're going to have so many leftovers mm -hmm. and so we need to repurpose those okay. at this point. So I want to give you guys some really helpful hints. Okay. So we've got this little pepper pot recipe right here. It's a super easy one to make, but the fastest way I've found to chop eggs mm -hmm. is with a pastry cutter. Do you have one of these at oh, home? I don't. I you don't. don't. Because I love to bake. Right. Mm -hmm. And so if you have a pastry cutter, go ahead and dive oh, on in okay. just, and just start smashing either which get way. Some aggressions out totally. <laughs> and it's the easiest way to chop up those eggs oh, quickly. Look at that. Okay. Right? So whether you're doing egg salad or for this recipe, that's perfect. Okay. And then what we would do is just fold in some sour cream, some paprika, a little lime juice. Okay. Stuff these little babies up and bake them off for about 25 minutes right. at about 350 degrees. And these are a really fun little brunch recipe. Yeah. They're That's surprising. Great. Make very a head unique. even. Totally make a head. Yep. There's some Throw cheese those right on in. there maybe even. 100%. Then it's 100%. not as healthy, but it's okay. Tasty. Tasty. Who needs healthy, right? Yeah. But eggs are really excellent. Yes, really they are. Yes. Whole healthy mm -hmm. thing. So, and then I've got another recipe. Okay. Are you hungry this morning? Yeah, I'm always. Oh, always. He only ate three chocolate bunnies, so. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, we're going to have a little bit of greens. If okay. You want to build good, good. your own Cobb salad lettuce wrap Love because that. I think, well, eggs are great in Cobb mm -hmm. salad, but we don't necessarily want the traditional Cobb salad. So we're just going to cut these up. If you wouldn't mind filling up one of these lettuces with, um, we got some bacon, oh, blue cheese, a little bit of grilled chicken. So both of us are veggie. veggie. You're both veggie. Well, you so can, can we do, skip we can maybe those do like a tofu. Oh my gosh, totally. Okay. There'd be nothing wrong with some that. So don't eat the bacon then. I will, well, I was making this for like, you know, not definitely in our kitchen. Definitely. <laughs> Our lovely floor director camera girl will eat them. Absolutely. We'll make extras for them. I like that type of lettuce, the bib lettuce, yes? Oh, this is Your a butter, butter lettuce. Butter lettuce yes. It's just like gloriously mm -hmm. smooth and beautiful. Yes. And it keeps green nice and long mm -hmm. in the refrigerator because it's still attached to that base. Oh. So it doesn't wilt quite as fast up on you. And then you throw some of those eggs on top. And you've got that beautiful lettuce wrap. We've also that. got a little vinaigrette that you throw on top. You don't need to get super crazy. You don't want to make kind a mess. And then you just fold it up? Fold it up and eat it. Like just a like a lettuce wrap. Oh, exactly. That's awesome. So, really fun ways yeah. to repurpose your eggs because you are going to have a, a lot. lot of leftover mm -hmm. eggs. Are you guys dying eggs? Uh, no. No, you're not. I might. You might. We'll see. <laughs> She'll hide them we'll for her dog. Shorty will love it. <laughs> how, when you have a hard boiled egg cooked in the fridge, how long do they keep? That's a really good question. I mean, you know, every Everybody's got their limitations, yeah. but I'd say a week is definitely okay. a safe amount of time to keep okay. it in there, keep it refrigerated, certainly. And you want to make sure to get that nice yellow center to it. So just make sure that when you're boiling them, mm -hmm. start them out in cold water. Oh. And then oh. as the water comes up to a boil, then the eggs are cooking in that process. And then turn your heat off and just let them sit for 10 minutes. And that's going to give you that nice, beautiful, pretty yellow, yellow, golden, not that gray color. Great right? recipes. I always overboil mine. I think that's my problem. Yep. You don't want to overboil them, you still want that beautiful golden color in there. So we have a website where we can find recipes. Definitely go to hickmansegs.com. Great. They are a great local company. Mm -hmm. And then I'm also a food blogger at JoniSimon.com. Love it. Thank yes. you. Thank great you. idea. Thank you so much. Happy Easter to Happy you. Happy Easter to you as well. We'll be right back, everyone.